Airport just got our Dunkin' Donuts and we are headed to Atlanta, hot Atlanta, guys. Um, we're super stoked. I'm already getting hungry, it's like 6 30 a.m. So I know as soon as we touch down, I'm gonna be just waiting to pound some good old barbecue. What else? We don't really have anything planned. We're probably gonna check out some maybe some houses and get get a feel of like what the neighborhoods are like. Um, and eat some good food. And so you'll get to see all of that and be a part of all of that. So we'll see you soon. Hi guys, so we touched down in Atlanta had a little issue with the rental car not a big deal but we're in it it's a nice Hyundai Sonata um, Matt is driving because I can't put the seat down I'm also snacking on some nuts that I brought along because I'm starving super excited we just decided we might go to the aquarium which is really exciting because I love being in that area where you can see like the polar bears swimming around under the water it's really cool um but yeah just wanted to check in hi guys so we walked through about half of the aquarium so far and my favorite part was definitely the southern otters. When they get fed, they get fed in these like big dog toys and there's like a bunch of shrimp shoved in. So they use their like little paws to like pull out the shrimp and then shove it in their mouth. It's so cute. Um, so Matt doesn't want to be on camera. I tried to convince him because of his nose surgery. It's a little inflated still, so he looks different. But um, we're gonna keep walking through and then we'll see you at some barbecue. Excited to chow down. So we are at Sweet Auburn Barbecue, and we just ordered waters. So I'm gonna take a peek and tell you what's looking good. So smoked wings for sure. Let me let me just turn it to you. Smoked wings look amazing. So um, the waiter just came by. He's insanely kind-hearted and I've known him for like three minutes. Um, the barbecue shrimp scampi sounds incredible. There's, it says scampi, but it's not pasta, but it's a brown butter, like glazed shrimp. That sounded really good, right? Yeah. Um, and then he said the tacos were good, the brisket sliders. So we're not gonna get those. So we're gonna take a longer look and talk and then we're gonna decide and we'll be back with some orders. First food stop of the trip in Atlanta, Georgia. We are at Sweet Auburn Barbecue, and we got two meats right here. We got the brisket, look how fatty that is. Oh my God, I'm so excited again. And then we got um, chicken, right? It's just chicken, oh, it feels moist too. And then we got Jamaican jerk collards. And then over here, we have half a dozen wings and three different sauces. So we are going, so this is our first stop. Um, and our first meal in Georgia, but we're going to take you on our food journey while we're here. So we're going to be trying out a bunch of different barbecues, comparing because we got a lot of recommendations and Sweet Auburn Barbecue was one of the recommendations and uh, maybe we won't get some barbecue. Maybe we'll mix in some other foods, but you guys will get to see that. So we're about to dig in. We'll see you soon at our next food stop. Hi. Hi guys. We just left our Airbnb for Took this. Took a little nap. 
Matt took a little nap. I watched It's Always Sunny. Have you guys seen that? So we're gonna hit up downtown Decatur now. Second half of the day, it got really hot and really sunny, which look is- at, Look at Georgia, guys. It's so green. You can hear the birds. Oh my God. Yeah, everything's so green here. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I thought it was all just stereotype or like myth, but the people we've met so far down south have been just significantly warmer. Yeah, well, Philadelphia is home to the meanest people on earth. That's not true. New York's mean. San Francisco that. people are too cool for school. They don't even, uh, they don't even like acknowledge you. But people here just genuinely care. Maybe I'll have myself a drink. Oh, what? Yeah, I'm having drinks too. Okay, cool. The best barbecue I've ever had was in Austin, Texas. The brisket we just had was like not as juicy or fatty as I like. It wasn't great. It was pretty dry, and same with the chicken. It was pretty dry, but those wings were on point. They didn't taste wings too smoky. I don't like a smoky taste personally, yeah. but the wings were just so good and like meaty. We didn't get a lot. Like usually when you get stuff at a barbecue place, it's a ton, right? Like Especially you ask for, a vacation barbecue place. Yeah, you ask for a plate and they give you like three pounds of meat. And of course you got to finish it. Like yeah. you're not... You're not not eating it right there in that a atmosphere, um, but it was it was pretty small portions, so like we didn't overfill ourselves. So I'm good for dinner. Like if we eat in like an hour, if we eat in three hours, like I'm good. All okay. right, uh, that's it. We'll check in. Bye. Hi guys, we are at Victory grabbing drinks. We got um, vodka diet cokes, and this is our normal go-to when we do decide to drink. Um, once in a while, we'll have a glass of wine, but even the last time I had, I had a glass of wine in Detroit. Matt didn't, but I even found it too sweet. Like I prefer just liquor at this point. Um, but we've been walking around downtown Decatur. It's extremely beautiful. Like the weather, it's like so super breezy, but like hot. So it's just the perfect temperature and everyone's vibe and the whole atmosphere is just, it's unexpected. Like you always hear like the South is so chill, so laid back, everyone's so nice, but you, you can't really fully experience that until you actually experience it. And then you can believe it. And so, it just, it excites me. There's a lot of hope here. We also got these. We, we don't change ourselves. We don't like not stop in convenience stores when we're vacationing to look for different pork rinds. That's just who we are and it'll never change. So we're probably gonna crack these here, snack on them while we drink. Um, but you can tell we got similar ones on our way down to Tennessee once. They're just like the hardest, they're like jawbreakers essentially, pork rind jawbreakers. Um, but yeah, we're just enjoying the weather, we're gonna enjoy our drinks and see where the rest of the day takes us. Hey guys. What's up? So we just went to the DeKalb Farmer's Market. Is that what it's called? Yeah. There's no recording in there. Yeah, otherwise we would have given you a nice old view of everything. So many cheeses, so many meats, so many spices, so many everything. It was great, wasn't it? It was incredible. If we move here, we're definitely going like on the brag. So we did get some stuff. We decided yeah. for dinner, we're just gonna have snacks. A nice little platter. Platter. Because we couldn't resist ourselves, so. And we also got stuff to take home. Cause they had so much good stuff, so cheap, it's yep. incredible. It's the best farmer's market I've ever been to. So we got... Olives. All of those for a dollar what? Dollar forty-four for all these green olives. One avocado for a dollar twenty-nine. And like perfect for ripeness eating. Haystack Mountain Red Cloud Goat Cheese. I love goat cheese, guys. Um, and from... And goat <laughs> cheese is pretty... It's generally low in net carbs. 
And it's usually soft. This one's super firm, which we've never really had. So it's going to be pretty strong in taste, but um, goat cheese is great. If you guys haven't tried it, goat, sheep, milk, cheese is pretty, pretty delicious. Then I got this to take home, but I'm probably going to eat some hot and spicy peanuts. This entire thing was four bucks, right? And it is 1.4 pounds. Yeah, you can't beat that. Uh, Whole Foods is $5 per pound, right? Yeah, hot and spicy, man. Hot and spicy. That's where it's Just at. Just like you. Ooh. Oh, and this was a score. Yeah, we didn't surprise Coco, Coco Polo. Polo. How much was it? Three twenty-nine. Not bad for each. They're more expensive usually, so we just picked the two that were the lowest in net carbs. And that we've never tried before. Coco nibs and elderberry. Since we're getting really old, <laughs> I don't if know what a, an elderberry is. If you were a berry, you'd be an elderberry. If you were a berry, you'd be a. No, you'd be a cuddleberry. You'd be a schnozberry. Because <gasps> his nose is really big right now, guys. And then the uh, winners of the bunch. Oh, yeah. We got two smoked sausages. One is andouille and what's that Chorizo. One? Chorizo. Are, they, are you sure they're cooked? I think so. Guys, I don't really know. He just assumed they were, they were right next to the uncooked ones. I'm pretty sure these are cooked. We're going to eat them raw. They're smoked. Guess we'll find out. You guys will see the little spread we make. Will they? Maybe, right? We'll take a little shot ski. This might be our last entry. Okay. All right, so, guys, day one. Also, what time is it? Uh, seven ish? Yeah, maybe? it's like seven. Closing in early. We have some big plants tomorrow. Top golf. Don't tell them. Okay, we won't tell you. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.